Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly tarot messages. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Scorpio, I feel like some of you are setting yourselves free or being set free by um, someone. I feel like this has to deal with um, some sort of information, some sort of guarded, hidden energy that is coming out, coming out during this period of time. It could be due to the um, full moon energy, full moon effect, which usually brings a lot of illumination and exposure to what has been hidden in the unconscious realm. I feel like for some of you, this is really going to be brought as a theme during the week as things being revealed to you. And I feel like the energy of things being revealed is actually like unlocking uh, a part of you or a part of your life that has been stagnant and ha that has been kind of withering. This is the Four of Pentacles. And this is a little bit of a different uh, imagery and deck, and I love this deck because of it. I just have been recently offered it, offered it, and I love it. It's a grimoire tarot, and this is your challenge for the week. This is the Four of Pentacles in the original tarot deck, and here, for me, it's someone that is holding so tightly to something that it starts to weakening his own energies. That energy of holding on tightly, of attachment, of possession over his own um, self and others um, is starting to create a sense of disability in his own need, right, to interact and engage and communicate with the outer world. So for Scorpius, that this is you. Some of you, this is you that have been very tightly or very tight about your own ways or very tight about what you allow, what you don't allow in your life, very tight about the behavior you have with people or about your relationships. It could be that you are, you have been in control or forcing some sort of control that does not uh, allow you to move forward in the exploration of new horizons, interesting new horizons, which is the Six of Swords here. So in order for the drama to end, in order for things to be for you to breathe, Scorpio, I feel like you really need to uh, open up about something. Or for others of you that this is about you feeling hostage of a situation you do not understand. If this has to deal with things that have not been kind of given to you as they should in terms of information, in terms of closure, in terms of secrets, right? That undermine some of your um, understanding of your own reality. The Six of Wands is here as an advice, and I feel like this is telling that you're going to be given the right information to move forward. I don't know if you can see clearly here, but there's this um, figure that kind of shows up out of the blue, and it gives him, and it hands this individual a letter. So letters have to deal with communication, information, facts, suddenly being given something that offers you a chance to fly away. So we have an energy that is very tight and in prison in his own demons, inside of his own shadow domain. And he does not want to let go of this reality, even though it's starting to cause him harm. And then we have the opposite, which is this energy of freedom, this energy of just wanting to go and explore and fly and Try something else. Do something else. I feel like you need to breathe, Scorpio. You need to push yourselves a little bit um, to the next level. Some of you have been conforming as well or settling um, in ways that, again, are starting to affect you or affect a part of your life, an aspect of your life that is fundamental as well to your well-being and happiness. So, it could, be, it could be that for some of you it's affecting as well your sense of uh, financial security. For some of you it could be that um, it could be your health. 
it could be the health as well of your relationships. But I feel like most importantly, for the majority as well of Scorpios here, I feel like this has to do with communication. Either some of you have not been allowing yourselves to say the things you know you need to say to set yourself free or to set the situation free to move forward to the next stage, to move forward to the next chapter. Either this has to do with your own being, not being able to come forward and speak. Um, I feel like you just don't... Um, you just don't know how to. I feel like some of you don't know how to confront situations, like uh, without um, having to lose something that for you is precious, so some something you feel like you have been guarding and protecting of your own self or in your life. It's like if you open up about whatever this is, you might feel like you're going to put that at risk. Something you really, really, really value. And that for you is precious, but, you know, it's that saying, when we love something, we set that free. So for Scorpios, that this also has to deal with relationships. For Scorpios that are holding on too tightly to their partners or to people in their life, um, I feel like detaching a little bit and even allowing some time apart can do wonders to the relationship as it can actually um, allow that room, right, for both of you to breathe and understand what's really going on there. So do not be afraid to, um, again, detach a little bit so that you can have another perspective and you can see something I feel some of you have not been able to see due to, due to this, due to the fact that you have been really controlling a situation that is meant to flow. It's meant, it's like you can't control air right it's, and I feel like you have been trying to control and communication has to deal in facts and truths have to deal a lot with uh, the air element which is what rules communication so you cannot there's so much air you can control without you start again suffocating so for some of you this is a metaphor for something in your life that in particular during this week or this time frame as time is not a linear thing might be of significance um, eh, towards what you're you're going through. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.